Okay, so next we have question number 20 from this paper, May, June 2020, um, from the International um, GCSE Paper 2, Variant 1, from Cambridge, <coughs> on Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. And this is a curve, <coughs> tells us about the curve y equals x squared minus 2x plus 1 is drawn on a grid. A line is drawn on the same grid. The points of intersection of the line and the curve are used to solve the equation x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals 0. Find the equation of the line in the form y equals mx plus c. So this is a type of question where you have a line that's drawn. So I'm going to write down drawn. The line that's drawn is the line they gave us here. y equals x squared minus 2x plus 1. And we have to use this graph to solve graphically the equation y x squared <clears throat> x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals 0. So basically what we have to do is we have to modify the equation that we want to solve to make it look like what's been drawn in order to solve it. Okay, we have to modify the equation that's that we've been asked to solve. If we want to use this graph to solve this equation, we, we can't change the drawing of the graph. We have to change the equation that we're trying to solve so that it looks like one side of it looks exactly the same as what's drawn. So if I modify this such that it looks like x squared minus 2x plus 1, okay, whatever I have done to change this side of this equation, I must do the same to the other side what we'll be left with on the other side is what we have to draw in order to solve this equation. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to change this such that it looks like that. So I need to make minus 7x become minus 2x. Well, that will happen if I add 5x. But then I have to also add 5x to this side of the equation. If I, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And I have to also make 5 become 1. So I must take away 4 from this side of the equation so that it becomes 1 here. <coughs> so therefore, I must do the same to the other side of the equation. So the equation, this now becomes x squared minus 7x. Sorry, x squared minus 2x. x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals, and now we've got on this side, 5x minus 4. Now what we have got here looks like what's drawn and in order to solve the equation we have to draw the line whatever's on the other side y equals 5x minus 4 whatever ends up on this side after that we have to draw that on the same graph as this and the places where they intersect will be the solutions to this equation to the original equation we've been given okay because this equation has we've just this equation uh, the solutions to this equation will be the same as the solutions to that equation. If you just add something to both sides of the equation and take away something from both sides of the equation, the solutions will still be the same. So the solutions to this equation and that equation will be the same. We haven't, um, you know, we've just changed the equation in such a way that we have added and subtracted the same things to both sides of the equation. Therefore, they will have the same solutions. So why did we do this? It's because we want to solve them graphically using the graph. Okay, so if this is already drawn, if I, you know, I can solve this equation by drawing, if I, if I have 5x minus 4 drawn on the same grid as this, it will give me the solutions to the equation with, where x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 5x minus 4, where they intersect will be where they are equal to each other. So <coughs> the solutions to this equation, okay, are the same as the solutions to that equation, if you see what I mean, because this is the same equation as that, just modified a little bit just by adding and subtracting things from both sides. So that means we have to draw the line y equals 5x minus 4 on the same grid as this what's drawn, and it will give me the solutions to the equation here. I hope that was clear. Important question, actually. This is something that, <coughs> from the topic of graphs of functions, how to, talk about how to solve equations graphically. Okay, so that's the answer to question number 20. Um, other questions from this paper can be found on the playlist that should appear in this area over here. Other questions from this topic, which is from graphs of functions, can be found in 
the t in the playlist that should appear in this area and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link in the middle thank you for watching and see you soon